very uneventful, very fast flight, very polite passengers, sat next to a lovely woman and actually had a nice conversation. I never talk to people on planes, so that was good. All right, we have the Alamo like fast break or something. So the keys are already in the car. So we're gonna go down here and grab our rail car. You get any car in the midsize section. And so Scott wanted to try the truck because we were thinking about getting a truck. So we're just gonna see. I'm not loving this. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. All right, so there we go. I guess we're getting a truck. I don't even have my seatbelt on yet, but Scott's figuring out the car situation. We're in a truck, I don't know why. And it only took 15 minutes from getting our flight landed at noon and it's 12.18 and we're in the car. So not bad. As y'all know, I don't generally, um, we don't generally run a car when we come here. Um, I love Orlando Transportation by Mike. If you're watching, I love you guys. But this trip, we have our friend Liam's play in Orlando. We needed a car for a couple of other work things. So it just worked out better. Um, I really like Alamo or Budget. Those are the two that I've used the most. And the Alamo uh, fast break thing is amazing because we literally just walked. There was no counter, no nothing. So that's my top tip. Always, you guys know this, but always sign up for the loyalty program. It doesn't cost you any money and then you can do everything at home in advance and it's just a lot quicker to get out of the airport. So we're just about 30 minutes from the hotel and yeah, traffic doesn't look too bad, but it's Orlando, so you never know. Oh my gosh, I was looking at my phone, I almost missed it. And that's a big old ugly truck in the way, yuck. Oh well. We're here, we're here, we're here. That was a fast drive, Scotty. That's the expert navigation on your part. And there she is. That's where we're staying. Now the reserve is right there. You can kind of see it through the trees right behind the thing. And you can go watch my review I did of that. Okay, here we are. Turn right, next right, Swan. Ah, so excited. So parking is full. So they're sending us to the valet and told us that they would valet us for the same price as the regular. Now here's why I don't love that because now I am going to have to tip the guy, <laughs> which I'm all about tipping somebody, but I was more than willing to walk. So Okay, our room wasn't quite ready. We are here at the Swan and we have our menus. We are set at the fountain. We still have our luggage, so we're really not quite settled yet, but I am very glad to be getting food. There's a major convention going on here, so it is very busy. So that's one thing to always kind of expect with the Swan and Dolphin. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day, so. Oh my God, you guys, the food came. It looks so good. Scott got the regular burger and I got the original burger, but with the Beyond um, patty. So we are absolutely starving. So I'll report back. Okay, so it is a lot later. We finally got in the room. I got the owner's locker and there's supposed to be these little tabs on there. If you hear the air conditioning in the background, I'm sorry, but we needed to cool down the room. There's supposed to be these little tabs that you just break off. Well, somehow our tabs were not on there. So I had to use like brute strength to get into the owner's locker. Scott tried, but then I was able to do it, you know, as you do. However, I am bleeding a little bit. <laughs> so brute strength does come with a cost. And I'm gonna be honest, we've had a little bit of a rough takeoff here. The flight was great, but then just the room was, was not ready for hours and hours. And it, we've had a little bit of frustration with guest services here. However, I am determined to do a restart. So we are gonna try this again. Um, Scott went down to work out. We're headed to dinner at the Brown Derby, which makes me all kind of happy. Kind of refreshed my face. I'm getting ready to have some more water. I put my ears on, getting my park bag ready. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna reset. What's funny is, as I look back at all of my Disney trips, 
by myself, with my family, whatever. First day is always a little rough. And even though we live pretty close, I think that's just kind of a universal truth. There's just a lot. It's kind of like, I've talked about this in my cruise videos, right? Getting on the ship, there's a lot going on. So we just have to have some grace for other people and for ourselves. I do know that this hotel is completely booked and I can tell that the staff is really, really working hard. So we've just decided to let it go and channel some inner light and goodness and go to Hollywood Studios and have fun. This was our, what do they call it now? My fit of the day, I guess. Um, this is the same thing I wore on the airplane. We have a short flight. If we had a long flight, I would never like rewear what I wore on the flight and in the airport and everything, but for us, it's really not a big deal. So this is the same outfit that I wore on the plane and I'm gonna wear it to the extended magic hours. And I have my BB Brook, I always do that. I'm so bad at this, you guys. I have my BB Brook mouse ears. It's going to be like in the mid 60s by the time we are heading back. So I'm taking this little sweater just because I know when we walk back, I'm going to be glad that I have it because it, hopefully if I can keep my energy up, we're going to be going until midnight. So, Oh, and my bag for tonight is this cutie pie little lounge fly DVC member backpack. Normally, I do not like these. If you didn't watch my packing video over on my Joyful Living, my lifestyle channel, I talked about this. This is my one exception and this, you can't get it anymore. But the reason I love it is first of all, the gold zippers, so smooth, so fun. Um, but the straps are like soft and it's a lot of a lounge fly, the straps are super stiff and so they make it a bit of a challenge. Um, but this one I just was too cute and y'all it's blue and white, you know, like everything else I own. Look how cute he is. Mickey, we're going to get in a better mood. You'll see. Okay, we're finally leaving. He got back from working out. Like I said, I'm reset. Beautiful day or evening is in front of us. We're going to go make it magical kills us. It's going to be magical. It's guilty. Okay, so our reset has begun. It's a beautiful night. There's a beautiful breeze. I opted not to bring my sweater. <laughs> well, you know how he hates being on camera. That was amazing. I know you guys have seen footage of this a million times, but never hurts to show you. So that's the bridge that we just came over. And now we just walked right down here. And again, because I say this every time, if you run the Walt Disney World Marathon, Scott and I have both run the marathon. I've run it three times. Scott's run it once or twice, the marathon. Just once. Yeah, just once. Um, you run right here. Right, was it yes, Scott would like you to know that the only time he did the Walt Disney World Marathon, he did it as part of the Goofy Challenge. So he did the half and the full. Very impressive, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Scotty, should we count it as being at Hollywood Studios because we're at the bus stop, and like if you took a bus? Or should we count it as being at Hollywood Studios when we get to the actual gates? At the gates. At the gates, yeah. okay. Well, for frame of reference, it's 10 after seven, and we're now where the bus lets off. So, 14 minutes, 14 minutes from there. And we've been walking pretty good. It usually takes about 15 minutes, 20 if you're not. Say, we passed two groups of people. That's true. We're really fast walkers. And I want to get grapefruit cake. So, you know, not that you have to earn your dessert ever, but I will feel a little better about it having put some steps in front of me. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little more reset, Scotty. I'm starting to feel a little more magical. The Skyliner is helping. Okay, we are officially minutes. at the gates. 16 minute walk. 17. from the swan 17, 17 minutes yeah. from the swan to hollywood studios and you take your own feet you don't have to wait for them they're attached which is great you need our little we need that <laughs> perfect thanks megan okay now we're set megan got a set we have our wristbands so we're we've got the whole you know what was that from the showing um the uh, you know swing what is that um, um, their grand adventure. 
Ted and Bill's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> Wayne and Garth. Why was it called Ted and Bill's Excellent Adventure? Two different movies, but that's okay. Who's Wayne and Garth? That's Wayne's World. Wayne's World. That's what I meant. Wayne's World. <laughs> Wristbands. So we're in the park. He saved you there. Lord. You guys, I cannot express how this weather is saving my life right now. Like. We had another little foible coming in. I didn't realize we had to wait in a separate line for the ticketed event. It's like I've never been here in my life. So just feel better if you make stupid mistakes, like I have made multiple times today, that it happens to all of us. I think it ha happens to those of us that get a sense of, um, what's the word? Like when you get too comfortable, like we feel like we know what we're doing, so we don't really like look complacent. things up. Complacent, thank you. Boy, you are there with, okay. for me with the words tonight. I was very complacent. So anyway, now we're gonna go find friends. It's all good. So we have found our friend in the wild. He's over in the corner. He doesn't know I'm filming him. And if there's one thing that YouTubers hate, it's when they're being filmed and they don't know it. Oh, look, he found his lens. That didn't take long. Hello, darling. She just did a clip, but she wasn't recording. Not at all. Not at all. You have to press the red button. Yes. Otherwise, you're not recording. Yes. Adam's here now. <laughs> so we're going to go have dinner. Adam and Scott just met for the first time. So that makes me very, very happy. Yay! <laughs> That's the way it works. My mother's dress is too. <laughs> <laughs> they are on the world's tiniest <laughs> couch. This, this, this is the dad slash husband slash friend chair. You know, like they have those chairs in the... The department stores. Yes, where you wait area. for your wife to shop. The yes. husband chair. It's yeah. just like so absurdly it's tiny. Just, I don't know. This is Mickey's couch. I mean, it's, 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 but then you lay, it looks even more ridiculous. <laughs> Mickey actually lays full length and watches the ball Yes. That <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we got the best table in the house. We're at a booth in the back, so you can like see the whole restaurant. And this restaurant just visually, it's just stunning. Like look at the little grass hat. If you've never been in here to eat, like do yourself a favor, even if you just come in and you can get like just the salad and the grapefruit cake for dessert and it wouldn't even run you that much. And it's just so beautiful. I love this old Hollywood vibe. It makes me happy. Yeah, I'll put down the heavy thing, yeah. <laughs> it's so fun and old fashioned and I love it. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sarah. That was awesome. We've had so much performance art here already between my cosmopolitan. That is gorgeous. Thank you, Melissa. Oh my gosh. And Jen, then... they only have things that are served to her on a pole. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's kind of true. I love chocolate being poured over things. <laughs> I mean, take as, it. as you do. As you do. And Scotty got the tomato burrata. Uh -huh. Is that what it is? Oh, that looks yummy. It does. It looks kind of like a, a deconstructed caprese. A little bit, right? Yeah, that is for sure. So, Adam, tell them while you're dis why are you disappointed? I'm not disappointed. I'm just heartbroken. He's um, been crying <laughs> last for over time, an last hour. Last time me and Gary came here, they had a filet mignon which came with a fried egg on it. It was the best steak I've ever had. To be to be challenged by the Riviera one, but uh, they don't have that anymore. But I've still gone for the filet just to see. Yeah. It's, I mean, it, it still, still looks pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the salmon, which is absolutely gorgeous, and Scott got the pork. The pork. Which looks good as well. Looks so, good. so we will report back. Um, so I have my grapefruit cake and my coffee, and I'm sorry, boys, you have no dessert. I've this been is... blindsided. <laughs> we I've just told blindsided. him that we're going to pay the bill, and he's like... <laughs> she, I even said to me, she was like, no, please, no, no, no Sarah, sorry. come back. And, I was like, and she's I'm like, sorry. no, sorry, I've been told. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, you sweet boy, still in his 20s. You don't get it's to pick fine. up I'll the check you when like you're with us. I'll go handbag or something. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you. Did you have a good meal? I did. It was very good. Okay, well, we'll do your, your grade later, so be thinking about that. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't do it exactly like yours because then I would be copying. So I'm not doing exactly like Adam's. We're not doing one same, out of five. Same, different. Totally the same, totally stolen, but totally different. We're doing letter grades for ours. So you get an so A, a star. B, C. Yes, exactly. Do you have A stars in the US? A plus, not A star. Yeah. So I'm talking to myself. I'm looking at it. It's very boring entertainment, isn't it? It's my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> Adam Hatton, you've just had your first grapefruit cake. What did you think? My favorite color is orange. <laughs> He didn't love it, but I do, so I'm happy. All right, letter grade, please. Scotty? Oh, geez, I have to give it an A. An A, and you're picky, too. That's very good. Adam? It wasn't as good as the last time I came. Service was an A plus. Sarah was amazing. She yeah. was. So yeah. I'm, I think because the flavors was set down, I'm gonna go with a B. And he didn't get his egg, I'm so a, a B is fair. Um, I'm doing A plus. I had an absolutely fabulous meal, but mostly it was the Your company. salmon was pretty good. I got this for a little bit. Salmon was good. That soup was really good. Yes. What was that called? It was the vegan soup. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was the, the vegan soup. soup. It, was, it was like a squash and Thai something curry. Yeah, very festive. Yeah, it was Apple. amazing. So yeah, so now we're going out into the maddening crowd, so we'll see you in a minute. Bye. It's so pretty over here at night. It's like my favorite. We're gonna get him on Slinky Dog. We're gonna do all the things, but the event doesn't start for like 15 more minutes. So we got a little bit of time before everybody clears out. It's just for us. It's a private park, not really. That would be cool though. Here it goes. <gasps> Chewy, punch it. <laughs> We're doing Millennium Falcon first. I have not done this in a minute. And just because everyone's gonna say, oh, Scott should be so good at being the pilot. He will tell you, this ride is not like piloting a real airplane. So he may do well and he may not. So just so we're clear. And I don't even know if he'll be the pilot. I know I don't wanna be the pilot. I'm not good at that. By the way, Adam told me. talking about us. No, I was saying that you said my British accent sounds like Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins. Yeah, but worse. <laughs> worse. So he says I have to work on that. But his American accent? <laughs> oh, yeah. Another group of flight candidates. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Okay, y'all. This is our first included stop of the night. Not free. Not free included. Oh, look, they have the big Coke bottles. That's cool. Do you see that, Scotty? Oh, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Got it. Perfect. Are you doing popcorn? I think I'm going to do, yeah, popcorn now. Yes, popcorn. Okay, so take your popcorn. Oh, do you want an ice cream bar now or are you going to wait? I think I'll wait. Okay, and then you come over here. And you can get your, yeah, 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 they're everywhere. I'm just going to do water. Water will be right here. Awesome. Thank you, Duval. That's lovely. That's like my favorite part of these events is that you just walk up and grab things. Like it's crazy. It feels like it's free. <laughs> it feels like it, it either feels like it's free or that we just stole all those things, <laughs> but you don't have to run away really fast. Yeah, and, and like if you ever wanted that thrill in life, you know, just to feel like you were, you know, I could chase you if you want. <laughs> I think it just count. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! Susie and Donald together! They're rarely together either. <gasps> They're together! You guys! There they go! Oh, they look so good, don't they? I'm so glad they're still dating. Is he wearing... The rumors aren't true. What's he wearing? I don't know. I can't work it out. 15 minutes! We got the band back together, everybody. There we go! It's the time to hear me stay. Woo! Get away and have a perfect day. I want an ice cream sandwich, though. Yum. Thank you. Have a good one. I got an ice cream sandwich! Scotty, you got your Mickey bar? He's happy. <laughs> Adam got nothing. He was bad on the ride I earlier. <laughs> we told him no more treats. <laughs> yeah, but even even the Genie Plus line. Have you ever seen this queue this empty? I have not. No, same. It's, it's very empty. It's a very empty queue. Oh look, it's a very empty queue. Oh yeah, we're gonna get you on this for sure. 
So it says the weight is 40. <laughs> Popcorn. Get it. Get a friend that will film you when you're stuffing your mouth with popcorn. That's Again. lovely of me. Anyway, um, it says 40 minutes. It's 10 minutes after 11. I'm guessing that it's only going to be 32 minutes. What's your guess? Um, 34. 34. We got a 32 and 34. 40. <laughs> tell you what, tell you what, we're gonna go wild and say 25. 25, we have a 25, everyone. All right, so we'll see you on the other side and we'll let you know. Oh, we got in line. That's not good. Very British lady would have made any sense to anyone. Sorry, I was gonna go Chico time. No, comment below if you know what Chico time is. What time was it when we got in line? 11 Okay, that was 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So we all lose. Scott, I'm closest, so I win. Adam was closest. Scotty, we did good. Yeah. Halfway through the popcorn. Halfway through the popcorn. I will say that. The popcorn and the drinks and the ice cream bars have been plentiful. And there's not lines for them. Because normally you go to these events and you have to wait ages to get the free stuff. Yeah. You just walk up and grab it. And then you just run really fast. <laughs> you guys, we did it all. Everything, right? Apart from Tower of Terror, obviously. Right, which... So, uh, we... Got we chickens, so. yeah, no, sure. but even if you weren't, I don't think we could have done it. I don't think we would have had time. Like, we, we did... We did everything that... I mean, we filled up all the time. I'm having trouble putting words together to make sentences because I'm really, really tired because I've been up since five. So have you. Yeah, we're sleepy. Okay, value for money for the, what is this thing called for us? After hours. Thank you, the after hours event. This what is, do you think? This is my value for money. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> we have eight bottles of water. Eight, eight. At three, seven, there's another one. So bottles of water are three dollars. Thirty dollars worth of water. Thirty dollars worth of water. And the back pain is worth the, it. <laughs> his backpack must weigh fifteen pounds. You think? Uh, Probably yeah. at least. Yeah, it's it's heavy. But worth to be it. fair, it was available, and we could have gotten more if we had a bigger bag or maybe well, a stroller. Well, if you think about it, yeah. If I use those waters over the rest of my stay, yeah. Then I've only paid like ninety dollars for this event. There you go. So there. So right from Adam, now you know value for money. There. Okay. So letter grade for the whole evening. A. A. I a for it. me, it Scotty. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. I mean, yeah. the great company helps. <laughs> oh. Did you hang out with somebody else? <laughs> oh, the dad it was so fun. And just like that, we're back on the pathway, walking back to the Swan. Definitely think that this event is a great value for money. Can't get over everything that we got done. It was really fun bringing you along. I feel like I look as exhausted as I feel. So we are going to end it here. Um, Scott's actually out on the balcony. This view is really lovely of the water. The weather was perfect. Adam is so fun. We always have so much fun when we're together. So that ended up being just a really, really happy, fun evening with tons of laughter and actually tons of great rides. Like that is a really good um, value for money, I think, honestly. I think it was a hundred, no, I know it was $126. And when you think about everything that we got done, it's kind of nuts. So I highly recommend the paid, <laughs> again, they're not called paid extra magic hour events, but I highly recommend them. I think, especially if you have a shorter trip like this one, it can be a great way to really get a lot done in a short period of time. But um, I gotta go to bed, you guys. I've been up since 5 a.m., completely wiped out, and it is time to just go to sleep in my Weston heavenly bed and see all of you tomorrow. So whatever you're doing, I hope you're being really good to each other. And tomorrow's Epcot. So I'm super excited and I'll see you then.